Before we start off with today's video, I want to talk to you guys about my friends over at Soul Avant Guard. So Soul Avant Guard is a place where you can go and you can explore a wide range of niche perfumery, uh, so much variety. They have discovery sets, they have samples, um, they have a lot to offer for those looking to elevate their collection, those who are curious about other things, of other qualities, of other brands um, in perfumery. All right, so save yourself some money. Use my code DEDRICK10. DEDRICK10 gets you 10% off on anything on Soul of our Guard. All right, so I know a lot of people are uh, really in love with the brand of Mind Games as well. So I got something for you too. You want to head over to Mind Games and do some discovery, do some search, and do some looking. Save yourself some money by using Dedrick 10 as well over at mindgames.com. All right, so uh, head over there, see what you like, see what you're interested in. I recommend sampling, sampling, sampling. All right, and then you can get your good feel if you want to make a purchase um, from Soul Vanguard or mindgames.com. All right, so y'all check it out. Uh, let me know what you guys get into, what you guys like. Let me know down below in the comments, man. And um, happy exploring, for sure. All right, let's get started with today's video. YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Dedra Alex Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. Smell good family. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock out here on this channel. No negativity whatsoever will be tolerated on this channel at all. All right. So, again, hopefully, everyone is doing well. And we are back with our weekly rotation video covering every fragrance that I wore during the week of August the 11th. All right. So, um, it's... Um, it's the summertime is starting to dwindle down and where I live I can already you know feel the difference in the evenings and the mornings so I'm getting a fall itch so but it's still summertime but this week's fragrances I kind of you know play with some of the fragrances that I would wear on a comfortable fall day not really fall but um they still work in the summer all right so let's go ahead and tap in on Sunday um wasn't feeling like fall on this day it was blazing hot <laughs> on Sunday off day for me um, got up worked out uh, run a couple ran a couple of errands came home did some recording did some editing and uh, this has just kind of been my fragrance of choice lately when I'm just kind of kicking it and cooling um, from the house of Eve Saint Laurent we have the discontinued unfortunately why sell why oh fresh why sell why oh fresh I love this stuff now thankful for me I do have a backup bottle here and this is my second favorite, maybe even my favorite from the line, but I'm gonna say second because I love the Le Parfum. But I love the lemon and the ginger edition here. Really stands out, really pops, very fresh, very clean, very crisp, especially in the heat, really kind of, you know, it's a workhorse in the heat, really. Um, it's like the, it's made for a high heat style of a day. So on Sunday, like I said, Sunday, fun day, Sunday, chill day, really it was for me. And this was my fragrance of choice. Um, you can still find these bottles out there, um, but I, I wouldn't, well, I ain't gonna tell nobody what they should, you know, what they shouldn't do. But the price points, I've seen some of them, they're crazy, but this is a really good fragrance. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> From the house of Yves Saint Laurent on Sunday, we went with the Y sale Y. Oh fresh, oh fresh. All right, moving along to Monday, we wore two fragrances. We debuted um, a freak. Oh, did, did we debut? I'm not sure. I wear some. Yeah, I don't know. Did we? On Monday, return to the office, and this stuff is really good. I must say, when I first experienced this, when I first tried this, I thought it was cool. Um, I'm, I was at the point where maybe it's not for me, but it does smell good. And I was from a sample decant. Um, but then smelling it fresh out the bottle, I had a different experience and a different feeling. And this house is incredible from the House of Mind Games. I believe it is called In Prize. But some of y'all are saying that it's not. But for me, it is. On Monday, we went with In Prize from the House of Mind Games. Beautiful citrus, fruity citrus, saffron, and ginger combo. combo. There's this sugar note in here. And some of you out there might be thinking, oh, Baccarat Rouge. No. Uh, does it remind you of Baccarat Rouge in some spots? Yes, it does. 
um, but this is a versatile fragrance from the house and i know these darker bottles can come off a little bit you know like oh that must be a winter or fall fragrance and i can see why but no this is truly versatile and i'm ordered to the office great performer now this isn't as bold and heavy as gambit um it's a little bit dialed down but it's really for really focused on the citruses and the spices and that sugar note i think it's called uh maybe cane sugar i believe um it really you know it's blended beautifully with the saffron the ginger and the citruses i really enjoyed this i did get one compliment very early on in my day again really good performer projection on this is really good in the first two hours but it definitely hovers around for a large majority of the day i usually work around that eight to nine hour ten hour mark and um and this worked perfect from the house of mind games on monday we went with in prize in prize really good stuff and then on Monday night, uh, for those who don't know, I also have a sports YouTube channel with my guys, the Sports Desk Live, and we got together and you know we had a, a meeting to discuss what we're going to do uh, for this upcoming season. I will link the Sports Desk Live's channel in the description of this video for all you sports heads out there. Um, subscribe if you got a minute to do so as well. But on Monday evening, wings and beer and water. <laughs> We're on the agenda, and this is what I went with. From the House of Banana Republic, we went with the Monday Rolls. Monday Rolls. Brand new from the house. I am a fan. When I walked up with my bro Rashad, shout out to Rashad, he was like, yo, what the heat? Yo, you are smelling good. Like, as soon as I rolled up. And this is a fruity, fresh rolls. A nice musk. Very clean. The rolls isn't super heavy. Um, does it lean a little feminine? Sure. But, you know, it, it just depends on who you're speaking to. So, men can wear rolls too. And this is an example of that. So, this stuff is really good. It's in the straight to parfum concentration. I really haven't seen Banana Republic really go that route. But this is indeed that. My sister and my wife love this as well. My sister was trying to steal it from my house when she came over. But this is a very, very nice rose fragrance. Really spring and summer or are there, is the agenda here. And on a summer's night when I wore this, it just worked. I mean, it just was a no miss. So my homeboy Rashad, he was feeling it. The waitress was feeling it um, as we were uh, being seated. Um, and it's just a really, really good fragrance. But you got to love rose. New from the House of Banana Republic on Monday night, we went with Monday Rolls. Monday for Monday. That's what we went with, all right? All right, up next on Tuesday, turn right back around. Uh, went into the office on Tuesday morning. And this is just a, it's a legendary fragrance. It's a legendary DNA. And this could be considered a fragrance, a masculine fragrance for somebody who only wanted one, who only wants one fragrance and you wanna wear it every single day. This is an excellent candidate for that. From the house of Chanel, we went with Platinum Eagle East. I love this stuff. A timeless Fougere barbershop classic here. The bottle's classic, the DNA is classic. The fresh spicy greens, the lavender woods and almost this uh, Tonka sweetness that's in here as well. I haven't looked up the notes on this one in a while, but that's just what my nose picks up. But definitely the top of the top when it comes to Fougere. I love Fougere's, one of my top genres, and this just works in the office. Um, on Tuesday, you know, handling business, and this was really good to smell. Performance around this is around for me, around that six to seven hour mark, which is more than enough, even though, like I said, I work eight to nine, 10 hours sometimes. I still was able to catch wafts, especially moving in and out the heat. Um, going in this, inside the cooler warehouse, outside, and just kind of doing my thing. It definitely um, it definitely works for what I needed to do. And that's where to the office. And mostly this is where I wear it. On Tuesday from the house of Chanel. We went with Platinum Eagle East. Shout out to my wife and my sons for blessing me with, blessing me with this on Father's Day this past year. Great gift. It's been on my list for a long time. And I'm gl really glad to have it, all right? Next up on Wednesday, as I say often, I don't let two weeks go by without wearing something from the Aventus, you know, Aventus uh, uh, tree. And um, this week we debuted a more fruitier take. And I think a lot of people love this, honestly. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this kind of takes off as the most recommended Aventus type vibe. And I'll tell you why in just a second. On Wednesday from the house of Dumont, we went with a Nitro Par Homme Platinum. Nitro pour on platinum. These pour on bottles, I like them. Same bottle style, but different color schemes. Really, really good. Now, why do I think every 
well, not everyone, but loads of people, especially my younger gentlemen, who are trying to, you know, they're trying to be fly, but they want to smell uh, very likable. Let's just put it like that. But fellow young boys, you got to do more than smell good to come off fly. Keep that in mind. All right, but. This is a very sweet pineapple. Reminds me of the pineapple in Cayeta Afrasan by Latafa, which got a lot of hype over the last couple of years. But it also has a nice, uh, it's some soft woods in here. There's a soft vanilla that has a creamy texture to it. There's a sandalwood in here, I believe. This is a more sweeter, fruitier take on the Aventus DNA. And I really, really like it. And for me, off my skin, the vanilla and the pineapple really work well with those uh, minimum masculine notes that are in here. There's no old moss in here, but there are some woods in here. I believe there's some vetiver and some, you know, tougher notes uh, that are, you know, lined up as masculine central. Uh, but the vanilla and the pineapple here just really, really work. It's This is a fun fragrance. It smells really, really, really good. Um, Nitro does it again. They have several takes on the Aventus DNA. I mean, we all know it to be the king. All right. But um, this is one that you know, I'll wear from time to time because um, personally, I like my more serious event takes. I like my oak mosses. I like my vetivers. I like, you know, that oomph that I get when I wear uh, a vintage. But this was a really good tool, a really good one, too. I could definitely see a fun night of bowling, a top golf, or, you know, going to a house party or going to watch a football game. It is football season. Um, and this could be a uh, great wear. Really good performance as well. Dumont definitely delivers there on Wednesday from the house of Dumont. We went with uh, Dumont's Nitro Pour Home Platinum. Nitro Pour Home Platinum. Love my Creative Inches DNA, and I do not apologize for it. I have several bottles of Aventus DNA stuff, and it's whatever, all right? All right, up next on Thursday, wanted to give this another full wearing because I'm just so impressed at the work that was done to create this fragrance. It's an, it, it's, it's an inspired take on one of the more popular fragrances that you've seen in all of 2024. And um, this house is doing a great job. From the house of Yeoman Lael, we have Blue Spell. Now this is an inspired take on Ex Nihilo's Blue Talisman. That is what this is. This is a more heavier representation. You get the ginger, you get the orange, you get the, uh, the paired sweetness, but the woods in here are really ramped up. And I like that. This is more like a, kind of like a darker, a more heavier tone. Yeah, a more heavier tone to the DNA. And I have the original and I love it. It's, 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 <laughs> It's in my top 10, you know, it's in my top 10 or it's knocking at the door to, to my top 10. But the straight de parfum quality uh, that you get with Yeoman Lao really beefs up what you get performance wise, what you get with projection wise. I highly, re highly recommend if you're not trying to spend the two to three fifty on Blue Talisman, this is definitely something to look into. This is definitely something that I think you will enjoy, but do not take my word for it. I have the information down below in the description. Uh, you spend up to $84.99. They have great bundle deals and different mix and match items that you can do on your Malel to get you a nice uh, a haul going or a nice experience going, discovery sets, all of that. But if you spend up to $84.99, you can get a free 10 ml or something that you're curious about. And that's really cool, but you gotta use my code below. So on Thursday, um, really good fragrance, man. I enjoyed it performed all day long. From the house of Yom and, Yom and Yale on Thursday, we went with Blue Spell. Blue Spell on Thursday, all right? And then on Friday, you know, honestly, this fragrance had been talked about so much by my guy Ross <laughs> over on TLTG Reviews, FWO for Life. I said, you know what? I haven't worn this in a long time. I do like it. I never stopped liking it. But, you know, me, I'm always testing and smelling different things. But I definitely got uh, reconnected with this fragrance. And I'm glad that I did. And it's going to be in the rotation uh, for sure. From the house of Carolina Herrera, we have Bad Boy Cobalt, the EDP. The EDP. Now, when I first got this, you see that dent, right? <laughs> the dent is real. Now, the elixir is good, but I prefer the EDP. The EDP is better to me. Um, no shade on the elixir, but this one is for me. That plum and truffle combo, this is very sweet. It's very, it has a, definitely has a blue vibe to it. 
um, synthetics, all of that, but it smells good. I put it up there with my uh, Invictus perfume and different designers that I really love that have that sweet, almost shower jelly, you know, uh, type of vibe, but they, but they just come off a certain way that makes this almost beyond enjoyable. And I really enjoyed this fragrance on Friday. Really solid performance. I got around that seven to eight hours. I usually go six to eight sprays on everything. But um, even the plum, the plum is synthetic, but it's a juicy, sweet plum, you know, mixed in with the truffle. And, you know, there's some woods in here as well, especially going in on the dry down. But I was really happy to get my nose back on this. It's been a while, but I, it won't be a long while again. On Friday, dress down day to the office, jeans, t-shirt, hat, you know, one of those days. And this was fitting uh, from the house of Kelly and Herrera. We went with Bad Boys, Cobalt Blue, the EDP. Cobalt Blue, EDP. Crazy gimmick bottle, but it is what it is, but the fragrance smells great, all right? And last but not least, man, I'm really enjoying this one, man. I'm really enjoying this one, um, um, and, and they just they just did a really good job on this DNA. From the house of Gritty Parfums, we went with 1968. And this is how the bottle, all the information is on the side there, and now, you know, the side half, but what is this going after? Well, this is an inspired take, and it has to be, Inspire take on Dior Sauvage. And it's kind of like all three of them in one. Some EDT, some EDP, and some of the Parfum. This stuff is great, man. The citruses, the lavender, fresh spicy tones. It's almost like a green, uh, a soft green touch to this as well that has a spicy kick. This stuff lasts, it performs. I got two compliments wearing this on Saturday. I had to go to the office, another dress down day, sweats, t-shirt, ball cap, and this was my fragrance of choice. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the EDT of Sauvage, but I got love for the EDP, but the Parfum is my favorite. But this is a blend of all three, so I have an appreciation of how this was composed and how it was blended. Really, really, really good stuff for sure. Product Carbon was my choice over Sauvage. Um, but this is this has taken over product carbon now I, I do still wear my product carbon to the gym So I do get to experience that lavender bomb with that ambroxan dial down But this one right here is just the niche version of Dior Sauvage So Dior already has great quality gritty just kind of takes it up a notch It's a little bit more smoother even there even more smoother than product carbon But the citruses and the woods and the green spicy tones and the lavender man Really good DNA, great for any time, any place, anywhere, very versatile. On Saturday to close out the week, we went with Gritty's 1968. 1968, this stuff was really good. Get you a sample on Soil Vaunt Guard. Um, they, the bottles are there too, just depends on how you're feeling. I'll use my code, uh, Dedrick10. I have the information down below in the description. Get you a sample if you are into that Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, Dylan Blue type of vibe, but you want something that's a little bit more upscale, Check out 1968, all right? All right, Smell Good Family, that's going to wrap up this week's weekly rotation. I My boys are out there having the best time of their life, and that's cool. Y'all are used to that by now. They are not screams, they are enjoyments of life, all right? So we're not going to go to 20K, we're at 19.6. When we get to 20K, we're gonna have a grand time. 20K live stream, multiple giveaways, special guests, like it's gonna be a good time. Um, I want to document and have a great time, you know, once we hit that 20,000 subscriber mark. Um, but until we do, until we get there, continue to like, comment, and subscribe. You wanna be the next member of the Smell Good family? That's all you got to do, hit that thumbs up. And we can talk about what you love and what I love, and that's the beautiful art of fragrance. Meet me down below in the comments. What did y'all wear? What was good? What was not? What was new? What did you revisit? Let me know down below in the comments, all right? So until next time, be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know what it is, splack it up, splack it out. <laughs> Spike that thing all around, all right? And remember, what you put out into this world is exactly what you are going to get back. That's for sure now. That's for sure. Peace. Spike!